Hey guys, what is going on? It's Matt and Vinick here today. And recently, or actually in the past two months, I had so many requests to make a video about how to record your iPad, iPhone, or iPod touchscreen that I'm going to do it right now. So there's absolutely no special link that you have to follow because I'm not sponsoring this or anything. Uh, it's called ReflectorApp.com, and what it does is it airplays your iOS device to your computer, and then you can record it right from the application. So first of all, again, go to ReflectorApp.com. It's in the description, and there should be a link on your screen as well. Uh, once you get to this website here, uh, click on the download button and then you, you'll have to save a file to any place on your computer. I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop because that seems to be the easiest way. By the way, there's no jailbreak required, so there's nothing that you will void or anything like that. You're not voiding the warrant, Apple warranty or anything like that. Uh, then what you want to do is if you don't have this bar at the bottom like on Chrome, you can just go to the place where you saved it at and you can just double click it, right? And what it's going to do is it's going to probably pop up a warning saying that, are you sure you want to install this? And yes, you're going to confirm that you are sure you want to install this. So once this type of box pops up with the security warning, if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just click run if it does. And then it's going to start up this type of reflector setup. What you want to do is you just agree to everything. You click install. It's going to install in about, I don't know, 30 seconds, depending on your computer speed. Mine goes pretty fast usually, but I'm running a screen recorder right now so it might be a little bit slower but it shouldn't take hours at all should should take under a minute to install okay so we have this user control uh, panel pop up again click yes and it's gonna start the installation process it's going to do a bunch of its stuff its magic and you're gonna click finish now what's going to happen is you will you can delete this file now right because it's installed you can just go ahead and delete it or leave it on your computer whichever you prefer and then what you can do is you can um, go ahead and search for Reflector right there. And you don't want the Reflector website, you want the Reflector. Right click it, uh, go to Send To and Desktop. This will make sure to create a shortcut to it on your desktop. So now to start it up, what you want to do is you just double click it. It should pop up over here. It might ask you for a security warning. Go ahead and confirm it, but it shouldn't actually. And it's going to be running in your system tray, or it might run over here. It doesn't matter. So what you want to do now is double click it to uh, confirm some settings. First of all, your AirPlay name will be your default computer name. If you want to change it, you can go uncheck this checkbox and change it to anything you want. But you really don't have to. If you have a, if you're not on the home network, which is not recommended to do this in your business or something, do this at home because what you have to do is you have to connect your iPad to your Wi-Fi network and your computer to the same Wi-Fi network. You cannot have your iPad on 3G and then have this running on your home Wi-Fi network. That will not work. So computer and iPad have to be running on the same network and that is usually the case. Anyways, I'm just going to use my computer's name. I'm not going to password protect it because I'm not worrying about any other family members messing with it. And I'm going to uncheck launch full screen because I don't want it. But I'm going to do check always on top of every application so it never goes to the background. When you're actually connected, the frames per second here will display. Usually get anywhere from 22 all the way up to 30. Uh, that's kind of my thing. And for optimized for, I would just leave it on high resolution. If you're having some issues, leave it on any, any device. But I would just suggest to set it to high resolution. About box, you don't have to do anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually register this when I start, but you guys have a free version that records for up to 10 minutes, and that is plenty of time to record a raid. Okay, so when you actually start it up, it's going to ask you if you want to buy a license or anything. Just click try, and it will give you 10 minutes to record. So currently I'm airplaying my iPad here. And it's lagging because I am recording many applications at the same time. So ignore that, but it won't lag for you, trust me. And uh, pretty much, I don't know if you can see that, you know you can't. Um, so, oh you do. Okay, so you double tap your home button on your iPad now. Once you launch this reflector app. You slide over to the left on the iPad. And you see this icon here? It's called AirPlay. This is AirPlay. This icon will be displayed when the reflector app is running on one of your computers. And there it says Daniel HP. What you want to do is that mirror wing thing with the on button, you want to have that on. It will, it will be off by default, but you have to have that on in order to airplay. Now the cool thing about this is it also airplay sound as well. And you can see I can move it around. Okay, so again, it's lagging because I'm recording uh, two softwares at a time. For you, it will not lag, I promise. So now how do you record? Well, here's my mouse. I'm gonna right click on this window and there it says start recording. So when it clicks start recording, it'll have a timer displayed up here. 
and it records the sound and the video at the same time. So if I move around and I do some stuff, right, it's going to record all that. And once I'm done, what I want to do is I want to right click it and stop recording. It will pop up a box here in a second and I'll say save as. Uh, you can rename it to anything, but I'm going to keep it reflect the recording and I'm going to click save. Oops. Uh, I'm just going to hit enter. That should work. Yep. So it should start the save process. Um, yep. It's in the background because you can't see it, but let me see. Let's drag it here. So there it is. It's saving. It's pretty fast. If you record it for more than 10 minutes, it'd be very long actually, but uh, this is better than anything. Alright, so there you go. There's your recording file. You can edit it or just upload it straight to YouTube. And this is how I'm going to take my user submissions now. So if you guys um, if you guys have a chance and you're near your computer, go ahead and get the Reflector app and record your raids. If you hit something big, go ahead and record it and send it to me. The email is admin at dvinikproductions.com. It's in the description and on your screen. Again, that's admin at dvinikproductions.com. That's where you send your user submissions. And I'll actually make a separate video on it later on, uh, so you guys can go ahead and send it to me, and then I'll feature your submission on my channel if it's a big raid. Alright guys, thank you for watching. That's it. That's how you record your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch without jailbreaking anything. ReflectorApp.com. Download it. Hit, um, install it. Start it up. Say you want to have a free trial. You can start it up every single time for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it'll automatically stop recording. But every rate is about 3 minutes, so you guys really don't have to worry about it. Just hit right-click, record, and you should be good to go. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you later. Peace.